Good morning and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. Ah, oh, my friends, it is, as always, a delight to be with you this morning. I thought I'd come out fairly early this Friday morning. Um, it's chilly out and uh, there is a breeze, but trust me, I'm not too far away from the warmth of my vehicle. I thought I'd venture out this morning in hopes that I may find that Minnesota groundhog and see what his predictions are. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find him. Regardless of what the groundhog predicts for winter, whether it is a couple of more weeks, four more weeks, or as our Pennsylvania groundhog says, six more weeks of winter, will endure, will endure. Which gave me some thought about uh, this winter. I reflected back on last year when I was doing the Hills of Maplewood and I thought, man, I didn't think it was this tough finding spots and going out. Well, it wasn't because we had a fairly nice winter last year. This year has been a little more challenging with the deeper snow and the colder weather and the winds that uh, blow so brisk. So I brought a text for you this morning that I want you to listen to closely. It's coming from the psalmist, and it's uh, Psalm 147, and it's verses 15 through 18, and it reads like this. He sends out his commands to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like crumbs. Who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and it melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. After hearing this text, it gave me a little more hope and confidence that his word will melt this snow and the waters will flow again. Oh, we know that. We know and we trust that God's word will do that for us. We have for many, many years as we've endured these cold winter months, know that spring is around the corner. So my friends, as we get up this morning, we look outside and we see the blowing winds and the cold temperatures, trust that God's word will flow. It will melt the snow and the waters will flow. So with that in mind, God's peace to you on this day from the hills of Maplewood, regardless of what the groundhog says, it is a beautiful day, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. So